So my name is Joey Stuckey. I am the official music ambassador of Macon, Georgia. I'm a full-time producer with a studio that I own. I always have been in the music business. I've never had another job. I make music not because this is not really the career I chose. It, I feel like I was chosen by it. By the time I was 19, I was in a building downtown Macon and I was recording and, uh, you know, and I haven't looked back. I'm actually more excited and happier to work with people that are just starting their journey so I can give them a firm path to success and give them a place where they can be nurtured. So by the time I was two, uh, they had discovered the brain tumor and done the surgery. It was growing at such a rapid rate that it literally was just like crushing wiring from the inside out. It made me blind, which is, I guess the most obvious thing. But the thing that set me apart and still does, I think, than a lot of blind people is my parents would not let me define myself in terms of my limitation. So yes, we acknowledge that you can't see, but we don't treat you as you're blind and nothing else. And I think that's a really important distinction, one that's really you know, crucial. They made me feel like I was a valuable person and they gave me enough self-confidence, maybe too much, to feel like I was you know, worth knowing and to feel like I was worth being around and to feel like I could contribute something valuable to my friends, family, and society. Yeah, Music is the reason, besides my family and friends, it's the reason I get up and go through the struggle every day to, to be alive, That's, it really is. You know, I believe you should use what's in your wheelhouse. I think you should be who you are, use your strengths, try to minimize your weaknesses. So my strength is memory. Um, my dad listened to a lot of country. My mom listened to a lot of classical and then what we would call, uh, in school we would call it sacred music, but basically Baptist hymnals. <laughs> and uh, so music was always a big part of our life. I never really thought about being a musician for a living as a kid. I really was focused on survival. But then I discovered old time radio shows on public radio. And for a blind kid, it was a revelation. And I thought, I could do this. I could make these sounds. I could record this stuff. As soon as I was well enough, man, I went out and bought a bunch of cheap microphones and stuff from Radio Shack. And I just started playing around with sound. that music was the vehicle through which I wanted to tell my story and that I wanted to share who I was. I have used shadow in the theme of a lot of things that I do. It was the easiest way for me to explain my universe. It's a bit fanciful and not scientifically accurate, but it has worked well as a brand. <laughs> Jennifer, I think, again, says it best. She's like, when you're on stage, it's just an amplified version of you. I pick up the guitar and I sing my songs, and I tell my stupid jokes, and. Uh, that's the same thing I'd be doing if I was sitting at a bar somewhere talking to you. <laughs> I mean, really, it is different, obviously. I mean, there are some differences, but the core is the same. We, we love joeystucky.com at jstuckymusic if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram. And we'd love to, listen, we're here to kiss hands, shake babies. Uh, no, oh, no, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Shake hands, kiss babies. And we want to, we want to meet you at the show, so thanks so much for coming out. I, I mean, I prefer playing with a band just for that extra little bit of freedom. Um, and, the, and, and the extra pair of, you know, two, two extra pair of eyes, man. <laughs> I get more done. Even when the band makes a mistake or two, we play, we play with a lot of heart. We love the audience. I'm
I'm in a transitional phase. We're opening up a new studio this year. Um, I'm gonna be working with some major producers this year. Over the tour that we did in 2019, uh, culminating with our January 3rd performance at the Whiskey A Go Go on the Sunset Strip. We've got a bunch of live recordings of the trio, uh, which I'm turning into a live album. We're gonna shoot for at least being nominated for a Grammy. Uh, nomination's sufficient for me. But my, my Grammy would be, uh, I'd probably wear it on my shirt. Just a few of the things that I treasure, just, just being able to remember all these amazing people and places that I've been. And uh, there's, like, there's just tons of stuff. Um, on these walls, and even though I can't see them, it, it comforts me to know they're there. It comes down to faith. I would say, trust yourself. I, I was blessed with my parents helping me to have that attitude, raising me in that attitude, so that it was what I knew. Nobody knows what's right for you except you, and that's anybody. That's what I would say to my, to my teenage self, for sure. That doesn't mean that everything's gonna work out for you, but it, it does mean that you'll have a life that you value and a life that makes you wanna get up and compete against Murphy's Law. It makes you wanna get up and say, hey, I'm, I'm bigger than you, brain tumor.